Hello, this is Burn, and if you're tired of feeling like there's something missing in you, and that's preventing you from attracting the caliber of man you want, maybe you think you're too old, or not beautiful enough, or not sexy enough, or not young enough, I'm here to share on this video how you can break free once and for all with these toxic lies that are pulling you down, and instead connect to the part of you that is capable of inspiring deep devotion, commitment, and love from the right guy faster than you think. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, and heart-centered women how you can attract the man you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques. If this is your first time here, and you want to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner as a result of being the best version of you, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now to be notified of new episodes as they come out. Listen, as a man who is incredibly flawed in many areas of life, I'm the first person to share that the first thing that needs to take place, if you really want to go from there's not enough of me and something's missing and, and it's never enough no matter how beautiful you get, no matter how what clothes you buy, no matter what diet you're on, if you feel like it's not enough, then forgiveness, self-forgiveness is the most essential part of this process before you can even go into all the other points I'm gonna share about right now. As I said, I am someone who has made many mistakes and I know the pain of not forgiving myself. And I can tell you, after working with hundreds of women in all walks of life, in pretty much every continent on this planet, that the core reason you're not finding what you want is not the lack of conscious men out there. It's not the lack of beauty or, or sexiness or your age. It is the way you view yourself and put yourself out into the world. That is the primary reason, even though there's other factors. I'm not silly, and I've done this work long enough to know that there's significant challenges in the world as it is. But you can still get what you want so long as you're able to first forgive yourself and then step into an inner process that lets you shine more powerfully your light. Now, before I go into all my steps, let me share with you that if you want to go beyond what I can share on this video, on the first link on the description, you can click on that and see a page that looks like this and start enter your name and email and start watching my free training that will show you how you can embody the change, not just in your mind, but in your actions. Now, the first step, if you want to start feeling as confident and as awesome as possible to create this result, despite what you think might be lacking, first step is to love your inner child as if your life depended on it. And here's what I mean. If you catch yourself talking to yourself in a way that you would hardly, if ever, accept from someone else, if you punish yourself subconsciously, if you feel guilty for not having done better when you didn't know how to do better, if you find yourself feeling grief and anxiety, sometimes even sadness, at the fact that you weren't perfect, that you let that guy with lots of flags into your life, that you had sex too early before the guy was committed to you, that you waited too long to let go of him, that you didn't express your needs and wants at the right time. If you're feeling guilty about those things, my first invitation is that you allow yourself to be seen as your own child. Imagine that you have a child, a son or daughter, who's beautiful and pure and innocent, and they come to you for help to learn how to skip the rope or how to hop on one foot or how to swim and imagine that with all your love you start training them and teaching them how to do this and every time they make a mistake you slap them in the head and you tell them you're stupid or you're worthless or you won't amount to anything or how come you failed would you ever do that for most sane human beings who are biochemistry uh, wise doing okay they would never do that if you do that you're probably in an incredibly bad place in your life but you're doing it to yourself. So when you find it hard to forgive yourself, I want you to see yourself as that pure, innocent child who's looking for empathy and compassion. And if you allow yourself to say, you know what, I know you can do better in the future, but that's what you did in the past, that you'll be far kinder with yourself as a small version of you or thinking of yourself as your own child. Number two, I want you to replace feeling shy feeling lack of confidence, feeling even shame with movement. Here's what I mean. Most people, when they start feeling shy, when they start feeling like they can't do something, they don't get something, or they start feeling shameful, they go closer into themselves and they start thinking about this problem in circles. 
my recommendation for you, if this ever happens, is that you replace shame with movement. Why? Because instead of three hours of thoughtful but painful thoughts, <laughs> you can have uh, one strong movement of, that can get you out of your funk that can help you see things differently, that can change your biochemistry, that can change your outlook, sometimes putting your shoulders back, looking up instead of down, breathing fully instead of shallow. Any of those changes allow you to start physiologically replacing that shame and that insecurity with a feeling of confidence. Number three, I would love for you to, instead of going for youth, instead of going for more products and more facial things, nothing wrong with them, but if, instead of going through more of that, I'd love for you to focus on how you can connect more with radiance than with youth. Here's again what I mean. Uh, if you focus on what makes you feel happy, what makes you feel shining, what makes you feel connected, what makes you feel alive, what makes you have meaning, any of those things from the inside out will make you express more youth, will make you express more aliveness, will make you express more connection. And that is the feeling that men are looking for. That is the feeling that guys that are maybe not paying attention to you want to have from you. Number four, I want you to replace the feeling or the experience of wanting to be liked with expressing your own uniqueness more fully. So be more out there, be less vanilla and more Rocky Road or pistachio. <laughs> Here's what I mean. There's a theory or there's a vision in your mind as to the ideal woman, the woman who has it all, fame and fortune and men. And whether you want to or not, there's a subconscious picture of what this woman looks like, moves like, acts like. I mean, and if you're in some way subconsciously going for that, if you're going for the Instagram version of yourself, instead of expressing your uniqueness with more confidence and with more courage, then you're doing yourself a disservice because that will hit the world and the airwaves as something that's plain and similar to everything else. When you express your uniqueness, when you go all in on things that you love about yourself, even if they're quirky or funky or dorky, however you want to call them, the right per partners, the right men, will resonate with you incredibly powerfully. And those who are not a fit will say absolutely not. Instead of the majority of people saying, hit or miss, friend zone, I don't know if she does it for me, the more you play up your strengths and your uniqueness, the more quickly you'll find the right match. Number five, I'd love for you to explore instead of going for more sexiness or what you think guys feel sexy is going for more presence, being more in there when you're connecting with people, being more connected to yourself, being more open to feeling their heart. When you're connected to yourself, when you're bringing it with your presence, that is the definition of sexiness. That is the definition of someone who is magnet magnetic and magnetizes men. Why? Because presence is exciting. Presence is where the action takes place. Number six, I want you to start creating and stop competing. We live in a world where subconsciously we feel like for you to get what you want, you have to compete with other women who want the same thing that you want, for the few scarce men who are the kind of man you're looking for. And I'm gonna ask you right now to stop that mindset. When you can go more out there into who you really are, when you stop focusing on how to act, how to talk, how to walk, and you become that radiant, alive, connected, relaxed human being, that puts you in a different category where you don't have to compete. You can shine and you can connect. Number seven, something that I don't, I don't usually talk about but can make a huge difference in your ability to stop feeling insignificant or not seen or not beautiful or not sexy is love your brain more passionately. And what I mean by that is there's actions that you take every day, like lack of exercise, for example, that are not good for your brain. Like foods that you have, foods that you intake that are not good for your brain. Beverages that you intake that are not good for your brain. Smoking that you do that's not good for your brain. So rather than doing this for losing weight and for looking sexier, I want you to take a moment to explore what are some of those things you can do that will make your brain shine more powerfully and your biochemistry being the place where you can really use all your resources. You can have the best software in the world, which is your mindset. If the hardware, which is the connections and the biochemistry is not where it needs to be, then you won't be able to get that car running. And I want you to get what you want. So in addition to forgiving yourself in actions, I want you to start exploring what are all the things you can do from food to movement to rituals that can enhance your capacity of your brain to be at 
optimum level. <laughs> Hope you find this helpful, useful, and insightful. I'll share this with you. You are unique. You are beautiful as you are. Don't let anyone let you know that you're not. Don't buy that shit from anyone. You are all that you need right now. All you need to do is shine more powerfully. If you enjoyed this video and you want to go deeper, again, I invite you to click on the first link in the description of this video and start watching my free training. If you like this, click like or thumbs up. Share this with someone who might benefit from it. If you subscribe to my channel and you hit the little bell, you'd be notified of new episodes as they come out. And last but not least, and yes, I'm speaking with you and to you. You, if you've been watching my videos, if you've been listening to my voice, if you've been doing the best you can to change this dynamic in your life, but you still feel somewhat stuck, you might highly benefit from personalized coaching. And if you feel that might be you, second link in the description will allow you to apply to work with me. If I feel I can help you, I'll reach out and we'll connect and tell you what this is all about. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart, into your home. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. <laughs>